Hey there, this is Bashtar from Tech. Welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to overclock your GPU with DirX Miner. This option is becoming more and more common among the miners because it has some really good uses. And hopefully, in the next video, I'm going to show you some of them. And what it is is basically when you overclock the GPU within the batch file, then you're not going to need applications like MS Afterburner. But what you need is that you always have to run the file as administrator. For that, I have left a link down in the description that you can make the file admin file. I'm not gonna talk about it in this video, I don't want to make it like too long. And as you can see, I'm using an ISH with TRX Miner. If you are an ISH user and you want to do the same, there will also be a link down in the description for that purpose as well. And now let's get started with that. So I, I suggest to have a different file for your overclocking batch file and then edit the file. So here it is. These are some of the options that we are going to use okay there are more of them i'm going to show you all of them and this one is intensity i'm going to talk a little bit about that uh, it's not overclocking it's just some feature i wanted to mention okay now here these are all the parameters what we need is the gpu fine tuning and these three are for windows and linux but most of the features are available for windows only okay now let's do the first one okay here the power limit PL is power limit basically. When you enter it, you're gonna have to have double dashes. Then enter the PL. And if you are a Linux user, you're gonna have to put the wattage. Well, in that case, maybe a good value for your GPU is 150. I don't know, it's up to you. But for Windows users, just you can you can just like add the, the value without any percentage signs. That's that's one. But maybe at some point you want to use a default value. I'm one of those who want to use the default value for power limit. So hit zero. It means that it's gonna use the default values for power limit. Okay, it's like disabling that. Okay, the next one that I haven't used is lock the core clock. It's locking the core clock. It's not the offset. Do not like mistake uh, with core clock. It's locking the core clock. What that is, is basically you lock the core clock at some value, which means you are gonna have to enter the full core clock value. For example, you want to lock the core clock at 1250, then you will enter that value. With the offset, it's not like that. You'll add just like the amount that you want to add. I hope it's clear. If it's not, please let me know. And this one, memory tweak, it's for uh, the Pascal GPUs. If you are an owner of Pascal GPUs, then I highly suggest that you would read those before using them. I don't have a Pascal GPU, so. Now, with the other options, here is the fan. The fan is one of the greatest features of TRX Miner. I mean, it's really great. They have so many options. That's why I'm gonna skip it for now. We are gonna talk about it in the end. The next one is core clock. This is the offset. So the offset is basically, depending on the coin, you're gonna add a value for that, okay? So in my case, maybe it's negative 250. So you'll enter it just like that. It's not like locking the core clock. Locking the core clock, you would need like, for example, to add the full core clock value. Here, it's just the offset, just the amount that you want to be deducted from the, the actual value. Deducted or added, for example, here, 50 it will be added to the, the core clock that you are having. I'm gonna leave it like that. And memory clock, M clock, it is like representing memory clock. I'm gonna add 1350. Okay, the next one here is core voltage. Please, if you do not know what that is, do not ever use that. I mean, when you use that, you have to be 100% sure of what it is doing. In our case, I don't need it. I'm not gonna use it at all. So, lock core voltage. Okay, here, Locking the core voltage is basically the one that we were doing with Curve Editor. I have a video about that. So I usually choose 750 or maybe today I want to use this value. Okay, so fan speed. It takes a little bit of time. Like there are some options for that. Okay, let's start with the simple one. Well, what you can do is let's say you want a fixed fan speed. Then you will enter it. 70 75 80 100 depends on what you would prefer okay that's one option another one is targeting a temperature let me let me show you how you do it first 
so t for target then colon the two dots above each other then the value okay what's this value well basically we are now telling the gpu to have a really high fan speed when the GPU temperature is higher than 55 so when the GPU temperature is 55 or above the fans will spin really fast if it is 55 I think it, it is gonna be around 80% but when it's above 55 it is almost gonna be like a hundred so the fans will spin faster until your GPU is cooler than this value okay that's one option there's another option so maybe you want your GPU temperature to be 55 but you don't want your GPU fans to spin at 100% for a long time so what you can do is open brackets then you, you are gonna have to add two values the first value is the lowest value for the fans let's say 40 and the second value would be the highest fan speed okay so what does that mean it means when the gpu temperature is 55 or above we do not want the fans to spin higher than 90 but maybe when the gpu is 50 we don't want the fans to spin lower than 40 that's what it does i hope this was clear if it was clear then let me tell you about another feature okay as you know we just targeted the gpu temperature well turex has another option which is targeting the memory temperature for miners memory temperature is like the one that gets really hot i mean sometimes the gpu temperature is around 50 but the memory temperature is around 98 to 100 okay instead of t it is tm so target memory then again colon then a value for the memory temperature i suggest that you would enter a value that's logical depending on your gpu in my case my gpu is is mostly around 100 okay maybe 95 is logical so this is my value okay well what does that mean it means that target the memory temperature when the memory temperature is above 95 spin the fans really fast and the same maybe you don't want your fans to go 100% like always you would say okay I want the fans to be at this range okay now let me quickly talk about intensity with T-Rex miner there are values between 8 as minimum and 25 as maximum for intensity what it does is basically makes the uh, the focus the intensity on your mining and it will actually improve hash rate so it's really important what values you would use maybe you say 25 is the best but it is not actually so you should like find the best values in your case in my case it will be 23 so 23 was better for me than 25 and the default value i think is 22 now that's it but this is if you have one gpu or if you have like multiple gpus but you want these values to be applied for all of them okay let's say maybe you have two or three other gpus the first thing to do is you should know which gpu is which and when you know then you know what setting is to use for for them you know what what you are doing maybe your second gpu you want to have a power limit of 50 percent okay maybe maybe it accepts that without like affecting the asteroid that much and maybe your third gpu is is okay with 65 and the last one maybe 80 percent so you wanted the power limit to be like that for each one of them but maybe you wanted the core clock to be this value for all of them and even like that it will be applied for all of them and same with memory clock if you want to change it you can change it lock the core voltage same and the fans the same but let me show you maybe it's a little bit tricky it's not but yeah a comma then for your second GPU you want to target the GPU temperature you say okay I want to target 55 and for the other one maybe you want to target a temperature of 50 for the GPU and for the last one you want to be on default values that's how you do it okay and that's basically it actually so this is how you overclock your GPU with T-Rex Miner and I hope it was useful and if it wasn't clear please let me know and that's it for today so if you have any questions any suggestions please let me know I'll be glad to help subscribe to the channel and yeah until next time stay safe